Hello and welcome to the channel. I am here for a discography review for you guys. Now for this discography review, I'll be talking about the band As I Lay Dying, who was one of my first metalcore bands that I've gotten into and, you know, I still think that they're one of the best metalcore bands around, possibly even the best. I don't know, it's really hard to choose uh, a number one favorite metalcore band though. But As I Lay Dying, they're definitely up there for me. So they have dropped a new album recently, um, Shaped by Fire, which is probably my favorite metalcore album of the year, uh, of 2019. So I figured that I would, why not, you know, talk about everything that they have. So yeah, I'll be going over all seven studio albums. So yeah, it of course all started with Be Beneath the Encasing of Ashes, which, I mean, there's no other way around it. This is easily their weakest album, and... You know, that's kind of weird, too, because, you know, it, very rare is it when a band's debut is their weakest material. But for some reason, As I Lay Dying, that just applies to them. Um, this album's biggest problem is I feel like it just lacks replay value. The production is just not very good at all. Um, and the vocals in this album are just so questionable to me. I don't know. They never really work for me. Now, is this album terrible? No, but yeah, I think it's their worst album, but I do think that the title track is probably my favorite song on the album, but all in all, this album is just kind of meh. I'll just say Beneath the Encasing of Ashes is an okay album, but yeah, it is their weakest, I think. And then we got Frail Words Collapse, which is definitely an improvement from uh, their debut, um, I do think that this album's production is much better, of course. Um, this is one of their heaviest albums, and the song 94 Hours was actually the song that got me hooked on to As I Lay Dying. This was my introduction song to the band, and that's kind of weird, too, because, you know, if you guys don't know me that well enough, um, back in my early days of trying to get into metal or, you know, getting into metal... I can only take uh, metal that had, you know, singing in it, but this song is only scream vocals, and I don't know, for some reason this song just clicked with me. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm really glad that my first As I Lay Dying song was one of their earlier stuff, so yeah. But this is a great song. And then, uh, of course, uh, the fan favorite song, Forever. I mean, I think this song is pretty good. Overrated, but it, I still think it's good. I could see why it was chosen as a single due to its melody and stuff, but uh, Frail Words Collapse, it's a, it's definitely a good album. One of their best, no, but still a good album. Uh, and then we got Shadows Are Security, which this is really where the band started to pick things up. I mean, this album is just great. Definitely better than the first couple of releases, if you ask me. Um, many great songs on it. I mean, the singles, they definitely picked the best singles for this album. Uh, Can Find, which is probably my favorite of the singles, but I don't know. Uh, it's definitely up there. Uh, the Darkest Nights, which I think is kind of overrated. Still a good song, though, I think. Um, it offers plenty of catchiness, of course. Um, this is one of those songs that you cannot listen to for an entire year and still remember this song due to its hooks and its catchiness. And I can see why it's one of the biggest songs that they've ever came out with. And then the other single, uh, Through Struggle, this is another uh, great song as well. Either this song or Confined is my favorite of the singles. But Through Struggle, I think, has some interesting guitar work. A lot of catchiness to it, I think. Um, and I think as far as the underrated songs go, I think they would have to be Meaning and Tragedy and... Uh, repeating Yesterday. I think these are some pretty underrated tracks from As I Lay Dying, so yeah. Uh, Shadows Are Security, once again, not one of their best albums, but it's definitely a great album, so yeah. And then we got An Ocean Between Us, which is maybe my favorite As I Lay Dying album. I don't know. I believe this was actually the first album of theirs that I've heard in full, I think. So yeah, this album is of course really great. Easily one of the best metalcore albums of all time, if you ask me. It's got a lot of great tracks on it, like Nothing Left. One of their best opening tracks, I think. This song is just undescribably good, I think. It's just, it has this catchiness to it, but it also has this really heavy aggressiveness to it, I think. I don't know. I think it's a song that offers plenty of replay value, though. 
And then, of course, the title track, I think, is really good. Uh, same could be said about Forsaken, another uh, favorite of mine. Now, the song I Never Wanted, I think this is actually a very interesting song for Azalea Dying. This is basically the closest that you're going to get to a ballad from Azalea Dying. Um, it is a more slower paced song, um, but yeah, I think it's actually a pretty interesting track. I don't think it's a favorite, but I still think it's good. And then, of course, The Sound of Truth. It's another one of their biggest songs. I really like this song, too. It offers plenty of catchiness. Um, and then This Is Who We Are is one of their best closing tracks. But, yeah, An Ocean Between Us, what can I say about it? It's a fantastic album and maybe even their best. But I don't know. It's really hard to choose a favorite album from As Ollie Dying. And then we got The Powerless Rise, which is possibly another favorite album uh, of mine from these guys. Um, I do think that uh, they take the melodies a little more seriously with this album, especially in the choruses, um, especially in the singles like Anodyne Sea and Parallels. I, I mean, these songs do a fantastic job at everything that they do between Tim Lambesis's, uh scream vocal delivery and Josh's clean vocals. Um, these songs are very catchy, and I can see why they were chosen as singles. And I think as far as underrated songs, I would have to pick Upside Down Kingdom and The Only Constant is Change. These songs are actually pretty underrated, if you ask me, but... And Ocean, uh, the Powerless Rise, I think, is actually a really great album, I think. So, yeah. Um, again, maybe even one of my favorites from them. And then we got Awakened... Now, this album I do think is really good. I don't think it's a favorite, um, but I still think it's a great album for sure. And uh, it has a lot of great songs on it, like Cauterize, another one of their best opening tracks, if you ask me. Um, it has the catchiness and the melody and the aggression, the heaviness, and it just has everything you want from As Ollie Dying. A Greater Foundation is another great song. Um, I can see why this was chosen as a single Um you know, this song pretty much demonstrates everything that As Ellie Dying does right. And, you know, everything from the drum work to the guitar work to the vocals, everything just sounds good in the song. The band just does a really good job delivering with this song. And then uh, the song Overcome, I think, is actually kind of underrated. Um, starts off with some clean guitar, and it's a very melodic track. So Awaken, it's a good album. I don't think it's one of their best but I do like it, and I think it's a very good album. And then, of course, we got the comeback album, the first album in seven years, Shaped by Fire. I mean, this album is... It's great. It's definitely a fantastic album. It definitely seems like they just picked up where they left off, of course. Um, yeah, of course, uh, the, um, the lead single, or at least one of the lead singles, My Own Grave, this song was the first uh, single released to the album, and it, it pretty much got you hyped for what was about to come, of course. Um, this song is heavy, but it also has a lot of melody and catchiness to it. And the guitar work is just outstanding in the song. And I think that they did pick, do a good job picking the singles. Um, this song, along with uh, Blinded and Shaped by Fire, the title track, these songs are also very good. Um, and I think as far as favorites of mine, I mean, they would have to be Blinded, Undertow, Gatekeeper, uh, Take What's Left, and um, Only After We've Fallen. These songs are just outstanding. I think these are some of the best uh, songs that the band has ever done, if you ask me. Um, so, yeah, this album, I think, is actually very great. Um, I do wish that they would have experimented a little more with this song, with this album. It does seem like just, you know, uh, they played it a little safe, but hopefully with the next album, they, you know, step on some different ground, but, I mean, what can you expect from As L.A. Dying? This album is just great, so Shape by Fire, it's another great album for sure. Well, there you go, guys, that is my take on the As L.A. Dying discography. Um, I know I didn't go over every single song, but if there is a song that you would like to know my thoughts on, feel free to let me know about that down in the comments. Um, and let me know what you guys think of my discography review for As I Lay Dying. And I think all overall they're a fantastic band and one of the greatest bands in metalcore. Uh, if you have not checked out these guys yet, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend you check out these guys. Definitely a great band. So 
Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and take care.